Hey students, Eric Magazzino here for CIS 244 Systems Analysis and Design. As I'm grading the homework for Chapter 3, Question 3, which asks about creating a PERT CPM chart for personal trainer, given the information you have on page 134 of the text. Uh, since a lot of people seem to struggle with this, I'm going to go ahead and do this for you. And uh, that way you have a video, you can go back and watch it. And again, you can do this yourself and practice does make perfect. So as you can see, I'm using Microsoft Excel. I've created a nice little template down here of a unit of a PERT CPM chart. And I'm ready to start my PERT CPM chart up here. Now, what I'm going to do is I actually am not going to read through this. First of all, I've read through it. I'm going to read through it again and create just the units. Okay. So the first one says first you need to meet with fitness center managers at other personal trainer locations. So my first unit is going to be meet with managers. And at the end, at the end, it says that the duration of this particular thing is 10 days. So there we go. I've got that. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to just throw another one up here. Okay. So, Here's the first one. Now, again, I'm just going through and pulling out basic information. The next one says, after these meetings, that's going to be a clue for us here in a minute. After these meetings, you can conduct a series of interviews, eight days. So I'm going to be doing interviews at some point, and the duration is going to be eight days. Let me do another one. Oh, you silly. The next one says, when the interviews are complete, two tasks can begin. Ah, that should be a hint, right? Two tasks can begin, which means they don't have to be done sequentially. They can be done, you know, coinciding with each other. So when interviews are complete, so I'm not going to be able to do it till after this here. But when interviews are complete, two tasks can begin at the same time. You can review company records. And the duration on reviewing company records looks to be two days. And then I can do another one. And the next one after review company records is observe business operations. So there we go. I'm going to observe business operations. And observing business operations, however, takes seven days. Now remember, these two tasks can be done at the same time. The next one says, when you have reviewed the records and, and observed business operations, which means i got to complete both of these, then you can analyze the Bumblebee accounting software. So again, we need another one of these. I'm just going to put it right below here. And I know I've got another one, so I'm going to put it in here while I'm here. So I can, what did it say? Analyze Bumblebee software. So I'm going to be able to analyze the Bumblebee software. The duration of that will be three days. And then the next one is study sample of sales and bi and business transactions. Looks like I need to widen this just a bit. Tell you what, I'm going to just shorten this to trans. Call it good for now. Duration of studying those is going to be one day. So now I have all the boxes I need. Hopefully you're seeing why I suggested you do this with sticky notes. Sticky notes, you can quickly create a unit, put them up, put in this pertinent information, write it down, and then put them in order. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some dragging, dropping here, but sticky notes doesn't work really well in doing a presentation like this. So let's go back and read it again. It says, first, you need to meet with fitness center managers at personal trainer locations. 
So I've got to do this first. So I'm going to put an ID in there of number one. Its start day will be number one. Its finish day, and I like to do this with my fingers, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, the last day is ten, because I can work on the first day and the tenth day. Then it says, after these meetings, so I know I can't do anything else while doing that. So after these meetings, you can conduct a series of interviews eight days. So here's my series of interviews. It is going to be eight days. It's going to start since this one finishes, and I can't do these together. This one finishes on 10. This one's going to start on 11. And then again, I'm going to use my fingers. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So eight days. Finishes on the 18th day. This is going to be ID number two. And then it says, when the interviews are complete, two tasks can begin. Well, that tells me that the next two tasks can be done sequentially. Two tasks can begin. So those two tasks can begin. Let's go ahead and read it. Uh, you can review company records and observe business operations. Review company records, remember, was two days. I'm going to put this as number three. This is going to be number four. And I'm just doing these in order that they were listed, right? So my start day here is going to be 19. My finish day for this one, 1920. This would finish on 20. This one is also going to start on day 19, but it's going to finish. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It's going to finish on the 25th day. Then it says, when you have reviewed the records and observed, so once both of these are done, then you can analyze the Bumblebee software and study sales and business transactions. So I'm going to put these two up here. So I can do both of those together according to it. I'm going to put an ID in here of 5, analyze the software. So notice this one finished on the 20th day, but this one finished on the 25th. And I can't start either of these till both of these are finished. So consequently, this is going to start on the 26th day, 26, 27, 28. It's going to finish on the 28th day. This one, ID number 6 is also going to start on the 26th day, because it said we could do them together. But this one then would finish on the 27th day. Start day 26, actually, sorry, start day 26 and 26. So there we are. Now at this point, I just need to fit, figure out the critical path. Well, the critical path, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come up here. I'll use some shapes. I'll go grab a line here. I'm going to just put it in. I'll go ahead and um, uh, let's see, change it to red. Actually, this one would be black. I'll format the shape a little bit. Just so we can see it. There we go. So there's that one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. So let's see, what is the critical path here? Well, this leads to both of these. Okay, so if you notice, this is not the critical path. I'm going to paste one more here. And from here, this one would go to which one? Ah, it would go to actually this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these around. So here's my non-critical path. Now I can come back in here. I'll copy that. I'll paste it. I'll come in and format the shape. Color. Let's do red. I'll copy it. I'll paste it just so I have one. So notice this is going to come from here down to here. This one then 
It's going to come from here to there. So my critical path is the longest time period. So here we go. 10 days, then 11 to 18. Now I can start these. This one ends later, so it's 25th. This one's going to end later. So I have a finish time of 28 days with a critical path of essentially 1, 2, 4 to 5. Okay, now realize the critical path is going to be just observe business operations to analyze if you label these differently. All right, I hope that helps. Have a great day.